time to use the coping saw. This saw is designed for cutting curves and intricate shapes. The example I have here is a pretty gentle arc, very similar to the wall box back we make in our middle school class. So I have my coping saw here with the blade tension, and I have my piece of wood with my lines drawn on it. It's tilted just slightly to the left, which makes it easier for a right-handed person to start. I'm left-handed, but I'll be doing this operation as if I was right-handed. You could easily turn it and cut the other way. And because we keep our hands on the handle, the handedness doesn't matter a whole lot. The first trick to not breaking this blade is to not hold the saw any place other than the handle. The second trick to not breaking the blade is to use nice rhythmic cutting strokes. Don't jerk the blade around, don't twist the blade. Those things will result in the blade breaking. If your blade breaks, I have another video on how to change the blade on a coping saw. So, here I am with the wood in the vise. I'm standing, that does help, versus sitting. I have kind of a wide stance. And I'm going to drag the saw. I'm actually starting just above my pencil line. People are always tempted to start right at the pencil line. If you make any mistake, you're cut inside the line. We always want to leave the mark. So I want to start above it. I can always sand back to the line. So I'm kind of raised up above my mark a little bit. I drag the saw back to get my cut started. And now I begin cutting. The direction of the harp indicates the way I'm going to cut. And to do an arc, I will need to slowly move the saw in our position. So I need to start this cut with the arc aimed down to let me cut up. When I get to the top, I'll kind of level out, and then the arc will be aimed up as I'm making my cut back down. So, here we go. Rhythmic strokes. Okay, slowly turning this in between strokes. The spear. It's now pretty much level as I reach the top. Okay, I need to start raising the harp up so I can go back down the hill. to the power tools, and it's kind of a confidence builder to see that you can do this stuff the old-fashioned way. 